She's getting happy now. You gonna give that smack to her, Moses? You were doing, big boy. He's your good boy. <laughs> Limping for some reason, huh? See where the maple put us. So a little over half a truck bed, actually. I was thinking half a truck bed, it's a little over that. And there's still some more maple here, some big pieces that gotta be bucked. So anyways, on to the cherry pile. Ready, Cordy? To the cherry wood pile again. This guy was supposed to come in here with his tractor and move this wood around. It definitely looks like he has. Oh yeah? Yep see what we've got going on here yeah we've got some stuff split here I forgot about that me and Sonny do yeah he's definitely moved some stuff around there's wood back there in a pile that's probably they probably moved the uh, what do you call them Pile. cedars I moved the cedars back there I always forget the cedars what they call them That's oak, I believe. So, anyways. Yeah, he's definitely moved it around, ain't he? You remember the cherry pile? He, he told me he was going to come down here and, and do that, which helped a whole lot because all those cedars that are over there, someone was wanting to keep them, so he got them out of here. And I forgot I had a little bit of wood split here from when me and Sonny came last time, so that'll make things a little easier. But then there's some oak in here. There's some cherry. Yeah, this pile will be used up for long. Some oak over here. Huh? Pretty good size. Oak, it looks like. Uh, anyways, we're going to go ahead and get started on this. I'm not going to be able to get down here far with the with the truck. I don't know if you can tell this, but this stuff is muddy. Yeah. I really don't like working in a muddy mess like this, but that's part of it sometimes. Yep. And then there's some of the stuff me and Sonny split last time we piled it there, so we'll be able to load that up and take it too. All right, we'll get to it.
white oak and cherry there bucked up not quite enough i mean i've got a, a little bit of maple in there already and then i've got that pile up there also got some more that's ready to be split and uh so the only thing is you can't get down here to it because it's so muddy so the truck is on the road up there which is a good way from it always makes it rougher when you can't get close to the wood a lot rougher actually i myself prefer the bigger rounds because they make so much more wood but they are harder to handle but there's less trips too <laughs> there's what we got from that and I already have that much in there so close the tailgate and load this up and we're taking two loads at once normally I, like I said I don't do the truck loads just a regular truck load but if they're willing to pay for the extra I don't mind to do it so as long as it's worth it and these right now I'm doing is two truck loads but I'm gonna get them both in one load here because they're both going to Lexington which is about an hour drive from me so Stack it in there because it takes so much longer. Oh yeah. I don't. I don't stack it. It's way longer. That's why I got the rail on there. That way I can put get a big load without stacking. Yeah. Well, if you had to stack all the way up to them rails, that would take forever, wouldn't it? Yeah, way, way more time. I understand why some people do it, but I don't do that. Run that loose. Thing with this is really trying to get a lot done and, and stuff like that makes it take you like five times longer when you're stacking it than just throwing it in there loose. Throwing it in there loose is only time faster than stacking it. trying to get like a cord or something you know yeah yeah i don't sell it by that because uh, and in the future i may you know if i get up yeah well i did used to sell it by a cord but uh the trailer and that's dangerous really the trailer is it really is you put ice icy roads and steep hills and driveways together with 
trailer load of wood behind a truck and it's, <laughs> it's dangerous without the trailer but when you get the trailer involved it becomes that much more dangerous yeah I'm gonna be able to record doing that. There's the wood that we got. I'm about to stack it. All right, there's the last one for the day. Did two here in Lexington. Heading on home now.